Hey, so today I want to talk about moi and really this channel. I want to kind of discuss the last two years and what has happened in the last two years and what will probably be happening in the next two years, especially what's happening now with my channel. I don't think I've truly introduced myself, so let me by just telling you I'm Jacob Gay. I didn't know that. It's literally my channel name. No, I'm not gay or those people who keep subscribing thinking that I'm going to date them. Please stop. I'm I'm, I'm not here for that. I am an aspiring filmmaker and photographer. I think I have a really bad addiction to uh, a little drug called glass. Mm. Oh. 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 That was weird. So let's get it started. Two years ago, I made this channel to be more of an experimental channel where I would upload things, test things on After Effects, see what my see what my skills were and upload them to YouTube, see what people thought. So that was all right. Then I started handing in my coursework projects for like media studies and photography. And the thing is, I wasn't really into photography. I know that sounds strange, but it was re only really when I went to A-level and I did photography, kind of because I was like, I need another A-level. And then I found my love for it. And I probably have to thank my teacher, Mr. Khan, who helped me get to that point. And he taught me so much. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be, I don't think I'll be going to university to be fair. So thank you, Mr. Khan. I've his YouTube channel is here, he's got a very really cool channel, he reviews lenses and cameras and does modeling and all that, it's, it's awesome. The reason why I'm making this video is because for over two years I've been trying to like grind. It's only now, two years after I started this channel, I've reached 50 subscribers. Now, you may be thinking, well, that's, that's it? That's so shit. You're right, it, it is, but for me, to me I don't look at that as a sad thing or that my channel is stagnating or is slow or whatever. No, I see it as opportunity. My channel may not get the views, the subscribers, the likes, but one thing it does give me, the inspiration to make more, to create more, to increase the quality of my products. And to be honest, it's just fun. I don't really do it for the views and subscribers or to get promoted or to get recognized or anything like that. I generally do this for fun. It's fun for me, but overall, it's not something I'm doing as a career. I doubt I would ever do it as a career because I don't think I'd ever get to that point. But if I ever did, oh man, I'd be the luckiest guy on the planet. Where am I right now? Well, I just started a series called Just My Faults, and I hope you're liking it. It's where I kind of review and give my opinions on a certain product. So yeah, that's gonna be something I'm gonna be doing most of the time. That's what my major projects will be from now on, on this channel. I will be uploading my my professional, well, let's say professional, but my university films, which will be short films that are quite dramatic and weird. I'll also be uploading vlogs, hopefully. I don't know yet. I'm still thinking about it. I'm still trying to get my head around it. I wanted to talk about a YouTuber who kind of inspired me to make this video, and his name is uh, Peter McKinnon. You don't know him. You should know him because he's like one of the biggest photography and film YouTubers out there and he made a video around a year ago or so and it was basically a QA. and a and someone asked him this question. Iris Bonnet Photo asks, did you ever go through a time in your career where you felt like you were doing everything right but you weren't gaining any traction? Yeah, my whole life. <laughs> there was plenty of times I would start a new photo series or shoot a bunch of weddings and think like, oh, these shots are so good. And the clients wouldn't really be happy or I wouldn't get anywhere with the photo series I was doing or I'd get picked up for some local magazines and they put my photos on the cover and I was like, yes, but then no phone calls would really come from it and I would try to network and you would get discouraged and stuff like that. But the key is to just be relentless. Don't stop trying. Even if nothing's coming from all the work you're putting into it, it's happening in the background. It, it'll all manifest to something. All of that time and work is by no means wasted whatsoever. So just keep at it. Even if it's nothing's coming to fruition, you feel like all these efforts are just like for nothing, they're not. Absolutely they're not. They make you who you are. They make you better at what you do. You learn from every single thing that you do and you shoot and project that you work with and people that you meet. Just eventually just like, it'll just happen and you'll be like, oh, okay, wicked. Super happy I stuck with this. That answer kind of inspired me because to me, Peter McKinnon is a hero to me. I don't, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love his style, but it's not my style. I tried to replicate it once or twice, just for the sake of it, see if I can do it or not. Couldn't really do it, but I would do things differently, like if I was him, but still his videos are so helpful and they are kind of inspiring. He tells you, he tries to promote you to get out and be confident about your work and get better, which I think is one of the most important things about being a cinematographer or photographer is with every shoot you should be getting better. If you're not getting better, that's fine, but there's always room for improvement. And that's what I love about this format is that it's always improving. 
Peter, if you're watching this, I'm a huge fan. I love your videos. You're a big inspiration to me, and you've helped me a lot on the way. I doubt he would actually be watching this video right now, but uh, if you are, Peter, hi. Give me a shout out, please. I doubt he would be watching this. <laughs> What's gonna be happening in the future, though? Well, I want my just my four series to be a massive thing. Like in two years' time, at, l at least like a hundred videos, probably. I want it to be a big collection. I just want it to be a big thing. It's just, it's my new major thing. Hopefully, I'd be working with a company in two years' time. That would be very nice. <laughs> Maybe get promotions and sponsors. Hopefully, I'll have a hundred subscribers by then. So to end this video, I want to thank you, my family, my friends, strangers who just decided to subscribe, people who don't even subscribe but to watch my videos and like, I thank you. Because you're the reason why I strive to get better, you're the only reason why I carry on making these videos. Well, not really just you, but it's because I find them fun. But you're the reason why I, I feel like I need to impress. I need to make better videos, have more skill in my videos. And yeah, 50 subscribers doesn't sound a lot compared to 1 million subscribers, but to me, 50 subscribers is still a lot. If I had millions of 50 subscribers or a million subscribers, there'd be no difference. Better equipment and sponsors, but I'll true my heart. If I had a million subscribers, I'd still be doing it because I find it fun and not because of profit. So thank you, and I hope you enjoy the future of my channel.